Hey guys, it's iTechNet here, showing you how to install your processor and CPU onto into your PC. So, same thing, in my case I'm going to be uninstalling it, cleaning it up a little so it has that long life, and then reinstalling it. But for the people who want to just see how it just in install, installs, you can just skip to the half of the video, and then I'll, it shows me putting it back together. So, as usual, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, turn it to the back of the PC case, and on the right panel you see two screws which I've already taken off and just unscrew them. They can come off with your hand or you can take a screwdriver right here. I just wanted to put that in for you there. So yeah, you can unscrew that. It's easy. Anybody can do it. And then after that, you want to put your two fingers under it and just slide it toward you. Until you hear that. Then it's going to come out probably half of an inch, even one fourth of an inch. And then after that, it should just fall right out like that and then you just want to lay it flat and see if you have a fan hooked up on that side panel such as I do have a fan right here side panel hooked up to your power supply right here mine's a top power supply but this is my informational PC I do have a bottom power power supply same thing see if it's hooked up and you want to detach that fan like that so after you have detached it it's gonna be a free panel and you could just slide that on the side so once that's done, now you want to actually get to the PCU, CPU and the CPU fan slot. So I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to put this down so you guys have a better view. So here's a little better view of the processor and the pro CPU fan. The processor is also known as the CPU if you guys are getting confused. Why am I saying CPU and processor? <clears throat> So it's probably messy here. You guys probably see wires all over the place. You could take them all off as long as you know how to put them back on. Like I took them all off and I'm just going to hide them in that bay right there so you guys don't see it. And just leave it to the CPU fan and the wire. So we're going to take the CPU off. I'm going to take it off, clean it up, and then I'm going to put it back together. So you want to take your CPU wire off. should come right off like that. Come off and just put it to the side. Then, usually most CPU fans have a lever right here. You should turn it the other way and release the pressure so it loosens up a little bit. Such as mine's all loosened up right now. And you can go to your side tabs, push them in, out, and then up. And your fan should come up right like this. It's not hard. It's really easy. Once you guys just look at the tabs, you guys are probably figured out, wow, that was easy. So here, you guys can probably see... Look at all that glue that's all dried up right there. See, it's I can even touch it and nothing comes off because I didn't have enough glue put in. So I'm going to put this aside for right now. I'm going to clean it, and I'm going to show you the best method of cleaning it if you guys are cleaning it right now. But for the people who are installing it, just go ahead and install it because theirs is already brand new. So now, install, uninstalling the um, processor, there's a lever right next to the processor which you want to press. Just point up. Flip it up. This releases pressure from the processor right now, and all you have to do is pretty much lift the processor up. That was the easiest part you guys probably thought. And we're going to take that, put this apart. Now, you guys see all this goo that's on the um, CPU fan right here. You guys are probably wondering, how do I get this off? So actually, they do have cleaners out there, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, all those sprays you can use. But I think this is one of the best methods out there. And you guys are probably going to be like, what the, are you kidding me? But yeah, it does actually work the best. It's actually nail polish remover. This actually works the best on metal. For me, I used it for my Xbox, for the processor on that. I had the red ring of death. I also cleaned it. It worked perfect. Or anything else, pretty much you're trying to remove goo off of and junk. So I'm going to show you a quick sample right here. If you look at my processor right now, you probably can see goo on it. Not as much because I already had this cleaned probably a month ago. So I'm just doing a video again just to show you how I did it. But it is pretty gooey and I did get some junk over it so I'm gonna show you how it clean so you just wanna go circular on it you don't really wanna get the polish over the uh, gold s slot pins on the bottom cause those are really sensitive so just go in a circular movement keep going until you feel that you saw most of it came off you see that my cloth is actually getting a little darker <clears throat> so once it's all you think it's all good to go you can put your cloth on the side just grab one dry 
napkin in my case all you have to do is go in a circular movement over the processor and give it that shiny clear look wow look at that it's actually really helpful to clean my processor all the way now how about we go back to the um CPU fan and also give that a little clean too alright so that's good that's good that's good and yep look at you probably can see all that junk that came off of it put that to the side we're gonna just wipe it a little bit and this seems pretty clear and dry put that to the side alright now it's the part to putting it all back together pretty easy as I took it off you can watch that in reverse or yeah I'm just gonna show you right now how to do it so here you guys are probably wondering now how do I put the processor in because it's square all the sides corners and you probably won't know how to put it in pretty easy on the corner here if I focus it for you let me just focus it if you see that gold triangle right there that actually matches up with a triangle onto your board right there if you look there's actually a triangle that's going to show you how to match it up. Once you match it up, all you really want to do is put the processor gently inside, let go, just feel is it in there secure. Once it's all secure, you want to just take the lever. There's going to be a little pressure there. You're probably going to be like, wow, am I going to break it? Chances are you're not going to break in. Just push it in. It's all secure. You're good to go. Now comes the part where you actually want to put the glue on. Some people actually miss this part and then end up with a fried processor, which is not good, and you don't get a refund or return on that either. So what I'm going to be using here is a thermal compound right here. Most people just call it glue because they don't want to become all techie right there. But it's called thermal compound. It's a cold cooling solvent glue type that's going to keep your processor cool. It's going to keep you guys from... <coughs> spending money on a processor every other year or every couple of years and it's if you keep on using this method every year or every other year your processor has a chance of lasting a long life so right now just gonna take the front off this is for like pretty much every glue you just wanna go to your fan right here and just put a teeny tiny bit probably like that I think that's a little more than enough but and then just clean it up with that so just a teeny tiny bit right there and what you guys can actually use is pretty much anything you can use your hand I like using my hand because you get a better feel how to put it on the whole thing and so right now I'm just going to use my hand and then I'm going to clean it up at that so just take it at the end and you just want to smear it in a circular position where it covers up the whole round part of your fan using your hand it's the best you can also use a little index card or whatever you think will work best but finger is the best option because you can wash it at the end and it's not really a big deal so you can see it's all spread onto the cardboard uh, onto the CPU fan right now I'm just gonna wipe my hand here real quick I don't want to get any sticky stuff on the case so it's all covered and now it's time to put it back together so pretty much you're gonna line up your two brackets back to the um, CPU brackets right here you just want to lie them down match them up it's like pretty much a puzzle piece it might take a little bit of time and effort but you'll probably eventually get it okay so we got the left bracket in and oops let me get the right one in and you'll probably hear a click telling you wow it's all good oh there you go so right now it's in position and all I have to do is take my lever right here push it down and right now it's securely in position you can feel the glue in it and pretty not it's not shaky so that's a good sign now you see a three pin connector here as you can see in my hand I'm gonna focus it just for you guys to see how it looks like just a three pin connector and now you wanna find the slot on your board that contains a female connector so mine's actually let's see actually you have two this is going to be really confusing if you guys don't know what you're doing because you don't want to get this mixed up and your fan not to start and fry your processor so mine's over here it literally states right near the slot CPU fan so that's a clear sign you're going in the right direction just plug it back in see everything secure plug all the wiring back in and then all you have to do is pretty much go for your panel which I'm going to bring it right back Alright, so let's go for our panel right here. There's the panel. 
So I have a fan actually connected LED fan. I'm just going to wire it back up. Let me find my fan connector. There it is. Plug it back in. Okay. And just, I like doing this for my own safety. Just make sure all your wiring is connected. So we got the CPU, check. The fan, check. Graphic card, check. Mon motherboard, all the CPU and um, power supply cables all plug in. So that's good. So pretty much, I'm ready to go. Just take this back. Set in a direction, balance it, and everything. Make sure it's in each of the slots. And all you want to do is push back in. So there you go. And now everything's back in. All you have to do is screw your two side panels, set it up. Everything should be all set for you. You don't have to install any drivers. Everything pre installed. Once you have your uh, CPU installed, that's, priority. that's one of those main things you really need for a computer to run. Get that. I would highly recommend you guys getting a new graphic card, which I'm going to be showing in my next video how to install that. These are probably minor tips you guys probably need, and I'm going to be posting many more minor tips how to get your PC to be having a long life. So yeah, um, like, favorite, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, go check out my other videos. I'm going to have mods set up how to get this PC to look nice. So yeah, iTechNerd, and I'm out. Peace.